Um, what is your kind of analysis of the, the influence of new atheism? Do you think it's had a, a serious impact on the culture? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, new atheism is a kind of uh, a tag. I don't know whether it's new. It's certainly atheistic. But I think all the data that I've seen indicates that in the United States, which is certainly the important test case, there's an increasing self-identification as secularist. Right. That is, no religious affiliations. Yeah. Which is quite a change. Yeah. I mean, there is also, at least in the UK from what we've seen, there is also now a trend of a lot of people saying they're spiritual but not religious. They're yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. Yeah. Their religious convictions have been seriously broken down, but there still seems to be some sense of we must be more than, you know, Christopher Hitchens said, I don't, I, I don't have a body, I am a body. And a lot of people don't like that. That, doesn't that couldn't well. be right, could it? No, his then changing. he would have survived death. Yeah. Because his body survived death, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I asked Christopher Hitchens about that, and he had no response to that. Hmm. But in, in all fairness, he wasn't really uh, worried over much at the time about logic. Yeah. But everybody who says they're identical to their body must confront the fact that the body survives as a corpse. Yes. But presumably they don't. Yeah. I mean, I see it as a doctor quite often. I mean, we you know, confirm dead bodies on a daily basis, especially in intensive care. And, um, you know, you see, the body, you see the body living and then two minutes later you see the body dead. And my brother put it once very nicely. He said the difference is what it reminded him of is uh, an egg cracked and the yolk poured out. That is a perfect description of the corpse. And fundamentally, not an atom has changed no. in the constitution of that body. No. But there has been a radical change. Well, it's, it's just not the same. Yeah, something is left. Something is left. Yeah. Uh, um, do you think that, so that there, does seem, there does seem to be this innate sense of, dare I say innate, or that people are, are more than their bodies. And that seems to be difficult to expunge in a way. But... Having said that, since religion has become so weakened in the West, do you see religious ideas ever really making a, com a comeback? Religious experience, the need for religious experience, does not disappear. But a willingness to embrace it, like the willingness to embrace certain figures as public poets of their age, that fluctuates with time. Mm. And very often when... Um, public religious experience disappears or it's forced underground or it becomes attenuated. Uh, it's replaced with a lot of uh, frivolous doctrines and dogmas. Everybody noticed in the 20th century that some part of fascism, some part of communism mm. represented a religious impulse, an ideological fantasy, a fixity of purpose, a certain degree of fanaticism. Uh, it's being discharged, as far as I can tell in the contemporary world, with a number of bizarre cults. For the moment, political. For the moment, political. But there are subcults. A revival of interest in witchcraft, for example, began as a joke and it's now taken seriously by any number of loopy women. Uh, bizarre beauty products, tattooing, things of that sort. I mean, the issue of tattooing is very interesting. What was clearly considered a moral abomination in my youth, among Jews, for example, uh, preventing burial in a Jewish really? uh, wow. cemetery, yeah, uh, has now become an accepted form of decoration. Uh, so some form of our, some part of our power to in, impose taboos under normal circumstances of life has been switched from certain kinds of sexual taboos to certain kinds of body decoration taboos. Things that were taboo 50 years ago are no longer taboo, and we're reimposing taboos on other parts of our behavior. Uh, that is constant, but the form it takes differs. You see changes. these all as religious impulses almost. Look, Pascal said very reasonably that every human being is born with a God-sized hole in his heart. And I think that's true. It doesn't mean he acts on it or, or is prepared to fill it, but the impulse is attested in every literature and every time in every era. It hasn't disappeared in the 21st century. It's just taken a lot of weirdo forms. What? I mean, the cult of social, social justice is plainly a messianic cult. Yeah. 